Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Two of Wands, Expansion, Growth, Partnerships, the Six of Cups as an obstacle. Um, you have the Six of Wands as well. So you have two sixes, okay. Oof, the tower. Six of swords. All right. All right, Pisces. You are currently going through a situation that has you wondering, is this something that I really want? Is this the partner that I want to be with? Is this the person that is right or ideal for me? Now, the obstacle is the six of cups. So for some of you guys, it's holding on or staying in a relationship because of children others of you wanting to stay in a relationship because you want children um now the six of wands does speak about victory but what they're telling me here is that this could be something that is temporary victory so what i mean by that is for some of you guys it could be that you're staying in a relationship because it's comfortable because at this point you feel like you kind of have to sacrifice your happiness. For some of you guys, it could be because of children. Um, now you do have the tower card here. So whenever I see the tower, it usually indicates that the situation has already reached its culmination. So the tower card is speaking directly about what's unfolding. So I think that for some of you guys, it could be that there is a major change, something that defi definitely changes the dynamic within the partnership. For some of you guys, it's the feeling that you don't have control over your partner. And it's almost like the more they pull away or the more they drift away from the relationship and they become cold and distant, it's like the more you're trying so hard to hold on to that and it's almost a feeling like the more you hold on to it the more you feel it's crumbling or it's falling apart now you do have the six of swords here so i do see you guys moving towards trying to fix a situation for some of you guys it could be that there was a, a temporary separation for others of you it could just represent that the partner was the one that decided to walk away from this relationship with the Seven of Cups, there is a lot of confusion. I feel that there is an inner struggle going on with you, Pisces, in regards to what it is that you want. Now, for those of you guys that are single, it doesn't necessarily mean with partnerships. For some of you guys, it could be that there is almost like a feeling of confusion because you don't really know where you're going. It's almost like, like there is frustration because you don't know what's to come in the future for some of you guys it could be trying to rush into trying to rush into what's coming towards you even though it may be unknown so it's like coming wanting to make a decision about where your life is headed or where you're going in life um for some of you guys this could signify coming to the knowing that perhaps there was a separation that's happening for some of you guys this could be your parents if you've had parents that have been married for over 20 something years um it could be like almost like your idea of what relationships were is quickly going to change or it's going to be challenged uh like i said the seven of cups it's it, there's a lot of confusion that's going on for some of you guys, it could be that you are in a relationship because you're comfortable in that situation, but there's really no stability there. So it's almost the feeling of like a connection based off of circumstance. Uh, for some of you guys, it could it could potentially mean trying to get pregnant, even though you see that the relationship is not really going anywhere. And what Spirit is telling you is, how can you want to make a life or to create a life with someone that you don't even know where you stand with them in regards to 
your placement in their lives. And, I, and it's almost a feeling like stop settling, Pisces. Stop settling. Stop feeling like it has to be you the one that puts your face out into the world and makes things happen. For some of you guys, if you guys are in a committed relationship, it could be that the partner solely depends on you to make things happen. And what they're saying here is that you're quickly coming to you're quickly coming to a point where it's going to be so overwhelming that you're going to get tired of it. So it's almost like as an example, if you're a woman watching this, it could be that, yeah, you're the woman. But sometimes the majority of the times, it's almost like a feeling like you're the man in the relationship or vice versa. And what they're saying here is that you need to you need to really figure out what it is that you want and work yourself towards that goal whether it be where you want this relationship to go whether it's where what is it that you want in regards to life in general are you trying to pursue a career are you trying to achieve a goal don't let the fact that you're in a relationship hinder that or stop you from progressing with the eight of pentacles, you got to put the effort in order to receive the rewards. With the wheel of the year, I, I, again, I feel that there is almost like this feeling of wanting to pursue or wanting to achieve. For some of you guys, it could be that at some point you had aspiration, you had goals, and you kind of put that at a stop because for some it could have been that you made your relationship a priority. But at this point, there's almost like a feeling of unhappiness because of past experiences or past choices. You still have time to pursue whatever it is that you're trying to pursue, Pisces. Don't let time or age define what it is that you do. If you feel like you haven't achieved what you wanted in life don't like stop procrastinating now is the time to do that now for those of you guys that have been single for a while uh, for some of you guys it could have been putting you know your children's needs and wants before anything and what they're telling you here is that there is this almost like purging of energy where you gotta go in and and do a lot of self like reflection and figure out what it is that you want and what it is that makes you happy and following that or pursuing that don't let any like don't create any limits the only one holding you back is yourself pisces sometimes we gotta break habits sometimes we gotta break you know patterns to be able to create our own destiny don't be scared of that. And if in the past you've been in relationships where they have belittled you or they have made you feel any less than what you truly deserve, it's okay to say I deserve better than this and walk away from that. It's okay to love yourself. It's more than okay. It's necessary. Now, I do see an opportunity coming towards you. For some of you guys, you may be um, dealing with a fire energy, I'm feeling more of a Leo type of vibe, but for some it could be an Aries, it could be a Sagittarius, but what they're saying is that this person that's coming towards you is really on a mission to help others become the better version of themselves. And I think that it could start off potentially as something like friends that turns into something else. Um, and I always tell this to my clients, if it's something that is starting slow, a lot of the times people get impatient because they're so used to jumping from one relationship to another. But if it's starting slow, the, the potential for it to turn into something long term it is much more greater. Why? Because... You can't start a relationship without having genuine friendship, genuine caring for one another. So again, you know, 
what they're saying here is follow your path, follow your passion, do what you want to do. The more motivated, the more focused you are in making yourself happy, only then will you be able to attract someone that genuinely wants your happiness. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.